The following audio is via a Skype call. You are listening to Animal Soul Wisdom Radio, tapping into wisdom of our animals, angels, and masters with Darcy Pariso. Tune in monthly to learn how you can better understand your animals and deepen your relationship. This hit show calls attention to the many roles animals play in our lives. Through stories and insights, Darcy shares how animals assist us in raising our consciousness and fulfilling our soul's purpose. These busy healers help us with transitions and challenges, love us, and want us to have more joy in our lives. Are you ready to see yourself through your animal's eyes? Learn how they're helping you and walk through life with more ease and grace? Working with ancient healing practices, Darcy can guide you and provide inspiration to move forward. To learn more, go to DarcyPariso.com. Wow. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm Dr. Pat, and I get to team up with the amazing Darcy Pariso. And today, Animal Soul Wisdom Radio, let's get, we're talking about, this is really kind of cool, your animal home Toolkit 101. And why is this important? Because if you're anything like me, you're really super clear that your animal friends are right there smack in the middle of your heart. Sometimes further in the middle of your heart, then you're like, then you're like married person, your partner. Yeah, that's the truth of that. But today, Darcy has an amazing passion. She works with people all over the world. You know, if you're looking at how to bring spirituality, self de- self-development, how you're looking at bringing this incredible healing energy into play, how to bring the angels in, how to do that for our loved ones, for our pets, all of the above, then this is really the show and the person you want to connect with. You know, whether you've worked with Darcy as you experienced fabulous animal communication or she has helped you heal some part of your body and your soul, that's what her work is all about. Today, um, we're talking about how you can do something, how you can create something in your own life to help you. Darcy, it's great to have you. Why, good morning and thank you for such a wonderful welcome. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, and by the way, we are taking your calls today. Benny will put you in the queue, and I'm going to start opening up the phone lines so we can get ready. 1-800-930-2819. 1-800-930-2819. Okay, so this is, we're talking about your Animal uh, Home Toolkit 101. Um, what is really the uh, main reason for having bring this level of knowledge to people. What are you discovering? Obviously, people want lots more information. Well, what I see all the time is that our animals, their energy projects so far out that they pick up everything that's around them, including everything that that is going on with us, our energy, and and they kind of ebb and flow as we do. And there's It's just like some really, really simple tools that we can do daily. We can do quickly, you know, at work, um, in the car, anywhere that really helps us to be more present and to manage our energy. And when we do that, when we take care of ourselves, it's, you know, it's twofold or threefold or however many animals you might have in your life. And it's just really helpful. And then I also wanted to talk a little more about like the chakras because they're um, kind of an energy system that... Is so so important, and when our when our animals are out of balance, it's so easy to bring them back in by doing these things. So I'm calling it kind of, you know, it's a basic 101 toolkit, and I'd like to, you know, keep building on this over time. But this is such a great starting point, and they're easy tips, easy to remember. You can do them anywhere. And you know, part of this too is you work with people uh, every day all over the world, and people care. They care about their animal friends. They really do care. And, you know, what you're doing is you're sharing what you've learned uh, over your lifetime with how they can first demonstrate their love, but most importantly, how they can do it with the new energy that's here. So, you know, what are some of the things that that we do that impact uh, the animals we live with? What are some of the situations we should be aware of? 
a lot of them are just, it's living life, being human in this at this time and in this energy. And it's it's really not being present or being mindful. Simple things like when we come home, um, do we acknowledge them? You know, they're waiting for us to come home all day. And just, if we can just let everything fall away and just be present and just greet them and spend a little time with them and talk to them. Um, you know, they're always watching us and looking to us. And we think that, well, you know, I don't think they hear me or I don't hear things like you do or whatever, but, you know, let that all go because they do understand us. So tell them if you come home and you're you're tired or you've had a bad day or they look confused and they're trying to read your energy, like what's going on here? Just say, you know, oh, I had a long day at work. Traffic sucked. <laughs> and But I'm here now and I'm so happy to see you. And just sit down and decompress, you know, just let that all go. Mm. And you can really have a lot of fun talking to them. You can be at work and it, it's a really loving and kind thing to do for your animals, but it's also just as much so for you. And the more you do it, the more you realize it and you're deepening your relationship. It's like sending the messages. It's like sending an email. You can say, um, hey, kitty, you know, I'm thinking about you. I'm taking a coffee break. I'll see you later. When I come home, we'll play. Or, uh, you know, hey, little dog, when I come home, we'll take a walk and um, I know it's raining, but I think it's going to be nice later and, and send them a picture of getting out. And it's it can be really fun because when you go home, when you're driving home or taking public transportation, you can say, I'm on my way home. You know, let me know that you got this message. Can you do something specific? And it's building a muscle, so it might not happen right away, but keep sending the message. And pretty soon um, they're going to start listening because you haven't talked to them like this before. So suddenly they're getting a message during the day, maybe a couple of times. They're getting a message around the way home. And you're going to see that you are more effective and more powerful than what you think. Yeah. You know, one of the things that, that you and I have talked about, you shared this with me, that, you know, our animal friends have a broader field, a field beyond our own field. You know, they have a way, and I know I've experienced this with, you know, um, animal friends I've had in the past, you know, whether it's picking up emotions or fear, whatever it is, they are way more in tune. And I'd love for you to talk about that a little bit, because sometimes we think, oh, they didn't hear it. They didn't see it. They don't know what's going on with me. But that actually is not true, is it? Oh, they're, um, they really are mirrors. And the funny thing is, um, I have so many examples of that and in my own life too, but one that comes to mind is Carol Gurney is an animal communicator in California. And I remember the first time I read her book and she was talking about how she helps all these other people, but she couldn't help her own cat who was obsessively um, licking, just licking, 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 wouldn't stop. And she tried everything. She tried, you know, chiropractic care and acupuncture and herbs and talking and she said everything in her toolbox <laughs> and she couldn't you know, figure out what was happening. So then she got the idea that he must be mirroring something, something mm. of mine. And so she started thinking about what changed. Was there a new behavior, something different? And what the cat would do is every day at five o'clock, he would jump on her lap and try to get her to stop working. But she was ignoring him. She kept working, kept ignoring him and he got worse. Wow. And so she, you know, she got the, the message that, you know, the more I work, the worse he gets. And this is the only behavior that's changed and everything else is not, has not worked for him. So she changed her schedule and she brought more balance into her life and the cat stopped licking. And, you know, he changed when she did. And that's, that's so common. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, all of this really too, I think we intuitively know. I think we intuitively know. And we get so much back from our animal friends. But also there's something else I know you talk about. There's certain things that, of course, we can do at home, you know, about our focus, about what we can do to help uh, make a deeper connection with our animal friends. Um, and then also there are in us as human beings, you know, we are working through all of our chakras and so sometimes we don't make the connection that all of this is connected to the way we are with them. We don't because we, you know, we're in our head and we have to 
go to work and pay our bills and stop at the store. And, <laughs> and we just, we get so wrapped up in our brain, we forget. And a lot of, you know, how we used to live um, before technology and things got so kind of overwhelming for a lot of us, you know, we, we just forget so that's why it's so important if you can just do one thing for yourself every day, whether that's just, you know, dropping in your body and bringing your energy down to the earth and then back up. I mean, it, it's just simple things. Mm. Well, what about our chakras? I know we're going to talk more about it that when we come back from break, but chakras, our chakra systems have a lot to say and play a role as well. They do. And one of the things I'm, I'm going to, jump ahead. But as far as when we realize that something's out of balance, to balance them, there's some really easy things that we can do. And um, if we have time, I'll, I'll jump into them now. So uh, let's let's take a short break. Okay. When we come back, we'll talk about them. And then I want to just let everybody know, we are taking the phone calls. We've got callers calling in to the show as we speak. 1-800-930-2819. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Darcy Parizzo is in the house. Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia. We have an ecosystem approach to your life. Tune in weekly every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio as we, Jason and Patricia, discuss what's truly holding you back. We offer you the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time be living lighter. For more information about Living Lighter, visit www.livinglighter.org. Healing has a ripple effect. One person's healing affects everyone around them. This is where the power of sharing our stories can be so important. Tune in to Playing on the Edge Radio with Megan Edge each month on Transformation Talk Radio as Megan provides you with ways of sustaining radical and powerful changes in your life. Enact the power of radical change. To find out more about Megan Edge, visit her website at meganedge.ca. Love Living Radio Ignite Your Whole Being with Emily Perkins is a show for those looking to explore the sparkling magnificence of their inner selves. Tune in every second and fourth Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific as Emily sheds a radiant light of love on the beauty and power that resides within you. Discussing love in all its forms through conversations that provoke awareness, curiosity, and expansion, Emily shares the unlimited power of love. For more information or to listen to this show, visit lovelivingholistics.com. Conscious Confidence Radio, a timeless wisdom with Sarah Main. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio and join Sarah on an adventurous journey to the deeper level of meaning to move beyond today's world of constant change, confusion, and uncertainty beyond the shadow of fear. This hit show explores key concepts such as confidence, values, and attitude in a dynamic way. To learn more about Sarah and her work, visit sarahmain.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at maryjanemack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit maryjanemack.com. Have you ever wondered if there's a way to heal the deep, hidden, inner issues, wounds, beliefs, and traumas? The journey into spiritual healing engages people in all areas of their lives to heal themselves and others. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as Dr. Jaffe brings conversations of healing of body, mind, and spirit as he merges the excellence of traditional medicine with the beauty of spiritual healing. For more information about Dr. Jaffe, this show, and his work, visit drjaffemd.com. Bye. 
everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's so cool to have all of you tune us in, turn us on. Animal Soul Wisdom Radio, tapping into the wisdom of our animals, angels, and masters with Darcy Pariso joining me here today. Today we're talking about your animal hold home toolkit 101 and we are going to go to the phones here in a minute um but before we do darcy you just wanted to give uh folks uh, a number of tips uh that they can implement immediately um yes to balance your chakras they're really easy one thing is to exercise to play with them take them for a walk pet them massage them that Mm -hmm. helps bring that energy back into balance and it's very simple and it's fun and enjoyable Another thing is that you could take the crystal that um, works best with each chakra, and there might be several. Like, for example, um, if they're aggressive or the opposite, they're passive and skittish and timid, that would be the solar plexus or the third chakra, and that crystal is citrine. So you might want to take a citrine and put it in their bed, in their water dish, or just put some little ones um, in a little bag and um, attach it to their collar. So crystals help to balance. Mm. And then the other thing that we don't give ourselves credit for is our minds are really powerful healing tools. And a lot of this can be done by setting our intention, um, affirmations, and then visualizing that the chakra is in perfect balance. You're really seeing any blocks. And the intention is that in this case, you know, your say the animal is um, really shy, that you see them being friendly and happy and, and just feeling so much better in their body. And mm-hmm. their behavior is, you know, reflects that. You can just visualize those things. And then the last thing that is just a real quick one, we've probably all heard about spinning the chakras. So if you're not sure, you know, there might be a couple that are out of balance, especially if maybe your cat's been rehomed several times or if there was a loss in your dog's life or your horse's life. Um, you could just go through all of them mm-hmm. and start at the base at their tail, base of the tail, and think of a clock and go counterclockwise and spin counterclockwise, 12, 11, 10, you know, all the way to one, round and round, cleansing and clearing bringing in some love and some light, maybe some more red, and just see it being balanced or see it being cleared. And then you could go back to that same chakra, go back to the root and balance it where you're going to go clockwise. Start um, at 12 and go one, two, three, four, all the way around clockwise, round and round, sending love and light, bringing that into balance. And again, with your intention, your visualization, affirmation, send love, anything at all, because you have the healing tool, you know, you have that mind that you can do anything mm-hmm. and go through all of them. You go, yeah. And when you get to the crown, um, remember, if you haven't stopped at the brachial chakra um, to go back, it's like right by their shoulders. And that's also called the master chakra. And it's tied to everything and all the emotions. Wow. You know, Darcy, I mean, there's so much that is connected And it's so important for us as well to get plugged in. One of the things that I I learned from you too is that sometimes we wonder and we grieve and our hearts get broken when, you know, our animal friends move on, pass, and we don't really think about the effect that has on other animals that might be in the house. And so what you're talking about is really helping, you know, the entire energy field for all that are involved. And we're going to get back to this in a second. But I know Benny has got a number of people that are so eager to talk with you. So why don't we go ahead? Let's go to the phones. Yeah, we'll take Anna calling in from Kirkland. Anna, welcome to the show. Thank you. And thank Hi, you, Anna. Darcy. Hi. Hi. Thanks for calling. Thank you. I'm I'm calling about um, my parents' dog, Sunny, who was uh, just yesterday diagnosed with um, complete liver failure. And I just had have a very strong hunch that we can still do things. And I'm starting to um, do some more natural things with him um, with the permission of my parents. And I'm just wondering if you can tell me anything um, about how I could help him better. Okay. Um, what is his, his breed? And I'm going to tune into him. 
He is a yellow lab mixed with like hound dog. Okay, okay. All right, I'm I'm feeling his energy and I'm asking him, Sonny, do you know what you need? And he's, um, is he like around 12-ish? No, he's younger. Oh, he's younger. His, his body feels, yeah, okay. Okay, let me ask him. So, Sonny, do you know what you need? How can we help you? What can we do that's best? Um, so I'm seeing his liver. There's a... There's a lot of emotion around him. There's um, there's some sadness and some loss that doesn't feel like it's his, because it, it's yeah. kind of floating in and out. It's kind of going like in and out of his body, like it's um, it's moving around. And I'm asking if he knows what this is about. Is this his or does it belong to someone else? And it feels like um, like he picked it up, like he picked it up, and it feels like it also um is a carry-on, something that came with him. Okay. He's he's got um he's got like some past life things going on around him that have been activated and it feels that he it's activated at this time. I'm asking him why. There is a lesson in here and it's about um your parents if they were to look at their their um there, there's something around them that there was a, some grief and some loss and like they've been through this before and it feels like it goes back to childhood. Huh. It feels like there, this is um like recycle. He's calling it recycled energy. Uh-huh. Like it's, it's coming up. It's making a loop around everyone and that it's something that he himself has kind of brought in from his past and he's picked it back up and it's um, like an unfinished business that he's bringing up to be cleared and released. I'm asking what you can do to help, if there's anything you can do to help. Um, He says to visualize him walking through this. He didn't say um, on the road to health, he's saying walking through this and that's kind of, um, I don't know, maybe a little odd. So, Sonny, tell me how we can do this. Um, would working with the chakras help? He feels like any energy, any energy work would help him feel better. And uh-huh. he feels like he can make some steps, some progress. He's showing me like a ladder, like taking steps, making some progress. Um, can your parents also visualize him being healthy? Um, I tried to encourage that yesterday, that there okay. was, I that I believed there was still hope. I've seen livers turn around. Yeah, it feels like um, if they could ask themselves, is there a time where they had some loss? And I know they've lost pets, but it feels like there might be some grief around people too, about relationships. And if there's something in their life that they might consider looking at, and if it's there, if they can ask that it be released and how they could do that. Because okay. there's like connect the dots here. There's um, there's your parents and there's Sonny and there's connect the dots. Um, uh-huh. there's a connection here. And if we okay. ask Sonny if, you know, can Anna help you by doing energy work, by working with chakras, by doing clearing? Um, he wants to feel better because he feels, um, well, he's, he's saying funky and it's showing me like there's something like dark, like garbage. He's saying like there's garbage. It feels like there's garbage in his body that doesn't belong there. Uh-huh. But it also okay. has a, um, a feeling of like an agreement to bring this up. Um, okay. Yeah, there's something more around it. There's more than meets the eye, and it's like multi- twofold or multiple fold. Mm. Um, so, if if your parents are open to that, say you know, is there something that you might have going on that where you've been in this situation before? Can you look at look at that and ask that it be released or whatever they'd like to do toward that, mm-hmm. and then see Sunny being healthy. Um, I'm asking him if he would stay, if this could be let go. You know, if you can, if Anna can work with you and if you can feel better. Um, and he, he perks up. Like he perks up like he's listening. Like, like I'm listening. Okay. I'm here. I'm listening. Huh. Um, I think each thing you do will give him some encouragement and some hope. Because okay. um, I had the image of him just like laying down, like his head tilted, like I'm, you know, I'm listening. I don't know. You know, he's kind of seen what's going to happen. But when we ask him, um, what do you need? Um, 
he wants like grief or grief clearing, grief clearing and love and just lots of love. Okay. I, I think that he can have, um, it feels like he can have a pretty good life. Uh-huh. There's going to be a turning point. You're going to get down, you're going to go down the road and there's going to be um, like baby steps on the ladder. And then there's going to be a, a shift. And if he chooses to go forward, there'll be a shift and he will be in that middle ground. And that's where when he gets there, there's a really strong um, opportunity for him. Okay. I think your parents are going to be, um, it's like a learning process. There's mm-hmm. going to be some steps for them too. And they're going to be able to see this and get inspired and um, and see how what they do is helping him. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. And, you know, what I would recommend that you do, this sounds like it's, um, you know, has many layers to it. Uh, Darcy, how can people get in touch with you directly? Because I know these radio sessions are really short. So how can people follow up with you for a, a fuller fuller version of this? Um, so anyone that would like to, or Anna, you can go to my website. It's DarcyPariso.com, D-A-R-C-Y. Paris is, um, it's P-A-R-I-S-O, Pariso, Darcy Pariso. Or you can call me at 425-280-5132. Awesome. Anna, um, you're really wise. And I think that you, I think that, um, you're inspiring him. He's opening his ears like, hmm, you know, I'm listening. So there's hope. Mm. Awesome. Let's take a short break. When we come back, we're going to go to the phones again. Darcy Pariso joining us here today. We're also going to tell you how you can uh, connect with Darcy live, like face-to-face, uh, experience her trainings, experience live sessions, all of the above. We'll tell you about that. And when we come back, we will go to the phones, probably skip the last break, and just look at how we can better serve our animal friends. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. into the wisdom of animals, angels, and masters with Darcy Pariso on Animal Soul Wisdom Radio. Tune in monthly as Darcy brings insights on how to better understand and deepen our relationships with animals. Working with light and pureness of ancient techniques, Darcy, healer, animal communicator, and medium is here to guide you through this process and provide inspiration to move forward. For more information about working with Darcy, visit DarcyPariso.com. Stay juicy. Tune in to Your Juicy Love with me, Una Drake, co-hosting monthly with Dr. Pat and every second Monday at 12 p.m. on Transformation Talk Radio. My show, Your Juicy Love, helps you find the dynamic, life-affirming love you've always wanted. Transform your relationships and bring peace, joy, and juicy, juicy love to planet Earth. For more information, visit unadrake.com. Calling all moms, it's time to awaken your vibrant, intuitive, loving self in every area of your life. Join host Debbie Pokornik as she shares thoughts, stories, and tools to help you stand in your power. Listen to Vibrant Powerful Moms Helping Everyday Women Create Extraordinary Lives, Mondays at 2.30 Pacific, 5.30 Eastern. For more information about Debbie, visit empoweringenergy.com. That's empowering with letters N-R-G.com. Have you ever wondered how you might feel differently if the books were full of her instead of him? What if your history lesson was filled with powerful women leaders and rulers? As a woman, would you feel more empowered? As a man, would you see women differently? I'm Megan Edge. I'd love for you to join me on my radio show, Playing on the Edge, Radical Change with Ease, with my co-host, Dr. Pat, on Transformation Talk Radio. I hope to see you there. A word of caution, if you prefer the status quo and you are not interested in improving every aspect of your life, this book will trigger the shift out of you. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens is available now. Author Colette Steffen brings the powerful knowledge and life-changing energy and empowerment from the radio airwaves to the pages of her new book. To get your copy in paperback or ebook, visit thetruthisfunny.com today. 
practice living in wholeness and achieve fulfillment in your life with your body in full service to you. Sign up for the Body Tune-Up. Six online classes designed for radical self-healing and self-regeneration. Go to CorneliaStephanie.com. Evolve. Become a practitioner now. Wow. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Darcy Pariso is in the house. I love Darcy's show. And, you know, I tune in to help her, you know, move through the show as a facilitator because so many of you call in. And uh, this is Animal Soul Wisdom Radio. Um, Before we go to the phones, because we have folks waiting, um, Darcy, let's talk about some of the events you're going to be in. And I know, as I said previously, you know, you have a way for people to get full sessions, whether it's animal communication, mediumship, Reiki, healing. There's a way for people to really sit down and schedule time with you. First, let's talk about some of the upcoming events. Okay, sure. Um, on Sunday, May 20th, I'll be at the Mystic Fair, and that's in Seattle at the Seattle Unity Church. It's downtown in Seattle. And I'll be doing um, readings. They're offering... Um, people can buy like two 20-minute readings for $35, and there's a variety of readers to choose from. It's from 12 to 5. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, great energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then on Saturday, June 9th, um, I'll be putting on a workshop with Stacy Lewis at Center Development Ranch in Snohomish, and that's from 10 to 5. It's called, Anim- um, excuse me, Source Soul Wisdom. Horse. Horse. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I horse. I want to keep saying animal or Horse Soul Wisdom, Learn to Communicate and Read Energy with Reiki Attuned Horses. Mm. And yeah, that's that, that's, fabulous. Yeah, there's, um, it's limited, it's a pretty small size, so if you're interested, you're going to have to sign up probably pretty quickly. Yeah. And, and then, the, where do mm-hmm. they go to do that? Can they get that from Stacy's website, or what's the best way? Or can they just call you? Um, any of those. Um, Stacy's website is Centaur Development Ranch. And also on my website, it has um, this information and the link that clicks to hers. Okay. And then and my number. Yeah. yeah DarcyPariso.com. So the folks know that's a website and your phone number. 425-280-5132. Awesome. Um, and, then, and, and how can people sign up for full sessions too? I just go to the website and there's um, book a session. It's a link on the top. It's across the top and it'll um, pop. You can choose your your session, your time, the type, whether it's animal communication or mediumship. And then it um, sends you to a calendar to book it. Mm, awesome. And then you have another event in June. Right. June 16th, um, Ananda has an open house and it's... Um, And there, I'll be doing 20-minute readings. It's a free event. It's in Linwood, Washington on Larch Way. Yeah. And that's on my website also. Awesome. Wow, Darcy's super busy. Um, wow, now that we've done that, uh, Benny, let's go to the phone. And we'll take Noreen calling in from Kirkland. Noreen, welcome to the show. Hi, Noreen. Thank you so much for taking my call. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for waiting so patiently. Darcy, Noreen, um, how could Darcy help you today? Um, I have two kitties. Um, we just moved, and one of the cats was um, was left with the house, so to speak. Um, a much younger kitten than the one that I brought with me. Uh, she's older and... Um, and the older one, her name is Scarlett, uh, has decided that she's not going to use a litter box anymore. Okay. And this is a new behavior? Yes, this is a new behavior. Since we moved in and since she was introduced to the new cat. Um, Noreen, did you say since she was introduced to the new cat or the new house? The new cat. The new cat. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So if I heard you right, um, there's two cats and 
one was left behind, but one came with you. Is that what you said? Correct. Okay. So Scarlett is um, not using the litter box, but it has been going on for a little bit of time then, you said, since this new cat uh, was with you. A few days, right. A few days, yeah. And now Scarlett is alone, but she's still not using the litter box. No, the other cat is still there. The other cat came with the house. Mm. So okay, the okay. That live there left her. Yeah, I, I thought, I knew I was missing something there. Okay, all right. So there was a cat left with the house and now there's two. Because right away when you said this, I heard she's angry. You know, she's angry. She's making a point and she feels that she wasn't consulted and she wants to have a conversation about this. Um, she doesn't feel that um, honored. She doesn't feel honored. Like she didn't have a say in this. And she also feels that... Um, like she was just kind of thrown in there and there wasn't a regard for her feelings. I would talk to her and tell her that, you know, why you moved and why this happened and explain it to her and say that you're, you know, I'm, I'm sorry that I didn't talk to you about this firsthand or, or I need to explain it to you more and ask what you can do to help her and, and then do those things. But just let her know that you're open and you're wanting to communicate with her. And then I'll ask her, what can we do right now? What can Aureen do? Um, she feels it's kind of a different situation in that normally this would be her environment and another cat would come in and it's the opposite. That cat was there and she came in and it feels like it's not, um, she doesn't resonate with that energy. So can you start by maybe clearing the house and clearing their chakras? Um, because there's a lot of different layers here. There's, you know, moving into it, um, something that feels different, moving into what feels like another cat's territory and then not feeling like she was honored. So there's some multiple things, but that's where I would start. And if you would like to go deeper and get more help, um, you can contact me for a session and we can talk to both of them mm -hmm. and see what kind of agreement we can work out and how this can, you know, what you can do. I don't feel anything's going on in her body physically. I feel it's... Um, Totally emo an emotional issue, behavioral, emotional. It's wow. Angry. I don't blame Yeah. Her. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so do those things, you know, do some simple chakra clearing and um, clear your home if you, you know, however you want to do that and, and talk to both of them and say that, you know, you care about both of them and you want to work this out and you're going to do, take the steps so they can work with you. And then if you need more help, give me a call. I will be happy to do that. Thank awesome. So oh, you bet. Thank you. Yeah, good um, luck to you, Noreen. Yeah, I hope you do call Darcy. Um, uh, wow, that was amazing. Mr. Benny. Yep, we'll travel over to Sammamish. We have Mary joining us, and uh, I guess her and her husband can't decide on whether they want a cat or a dog. It's, it's a oh, toss-up. The old, uh, the battle begins, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh. Hey there, welcome to the show. Hi, Mary. Hey, thanks so much. Yeah, it's kind of a different twist. We've had a cat uh, all the time. We've had three different cats, but one at a time. And our last cat passed away a few years ago, and my husband really wants another cat, and I really don't. But I have always wanted a small dog, and he really mm. doesn't. So right now the agreement is no animals. And I'm just wondering, I don't think either one of us feels good about that. And if you saw... An animal that perhaps is trying to come through, or should we take a longer break? I do see an animal coming through that wants to come through. And um, it's like once you decide what you're going to do, but I is it possible to have one of each? Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> because Why? when you were talking, I saw a cat and a dog in your house. <laughs> Oh, and I saw an animal wanting to come through. So <laughs> can you compromise here? Maybe, maybe. Um, do you get any feel for the dog itself? Because he's really not a dog person. Okay, okay. Um, you wanted a, a small dog, you said? Mm -hmm. Because the dog that I saw for you is, um, I think your husband has a... Um, an expectation of a small dog and what that would look like. Mm 
yeah. and maybe more barky or needy, but there's a lot of dogs that are not like that. So I think that if he had some, if you found some breeds that you were interested in and he had some um, information and connection with them, it would help. Um, I have a dog that's a Havanese and she's very wise and she's very quiet and um, people say that she's not like a small dog and she's really not. And there are dogs out there like that. And that's what I see. I see a dog and a cat being friends and coming in both when they're young and um, having that relationship and it being a lot of fun. So <laughs> that's a that's what so is around you. And so would you say you. we should get them at the same time? Um, maybe not exactly the same time, but I think close when they're young not too far apart because they can really bond. And if you, with your um, beautiful intuitive mind, put that out there, that if there is a dog and a cat that wants to be with us or who have been with us before, um, and this can be a really beautiful home and arrangement, then we welcome you to come in. Mm. And if they're supposed to show up, it will. You'll suddenly get the idea to stop at the shelter or somebody will contact you. Um, a cat will show up at your door. It'll come in whatever way. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's okay. let go of um, what are we going to do or who's going to get what or not get what and and um, <laughs> trust the universe and trust the energy because um, there is an animal that embodied a cat that wants to come in and she's looking like cat or dog, cat or dog. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You know, yeah. You know what's interesting? I had a friend that went through the same thing and uh, a part of it was that each each person in the in the relationship had a view of what the other was. So, for example, the person that wanted the cat had a view of dogs and of a perspective that dogs you can't get a dog that's kind of cat like. The other person was yeah. well, you can't get a cat that's dog like. And so <laughs> they ended up looking at pictures together, and I think they what they selected on and boy, I'm not an expert at this was a Shih Tzu. Uh, some kind of dog okay. like that, a little little white dog that kind of looks like a cat, but can have a little temperament. You know, they're like gentle, yet they could be a little bit stubborn at times. And so they ended up on getting this little dog that they thought was cat-like. So I found that really interesting. I don't know anything about, <laughs> about little dogs. So okay. I don't even know if that's true, Darcy. That is true. That is true. And that's when this cat that is um, crossed over that's looking like cat dog. What am I going to be? Cat dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and do you they're get a kind feel of cool. if it's a familiar? Do you get a feel if it's a familiar soul to us? Is it an animal we've had in the past? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because um, I feel like you had several cats around you and she's saying that she's the, there's a um, a middle one. There's one, the one, the cat that crossed over recently is, you know, considering looking at her options. So she may, she may come back, but it's like the middle one that wants to come back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the yeah. middle one was the only female. Interesting. Yeah. And yeah. then um, one other quick question for you, and that is, there was a dog in our neighborhood who I swear, was mine. He wasn't. He belonged to a neighbor, but he and I just bonded. He, if he ever got out of the backyard, they would call me because they knew he'd come sit at my door. His name was Tucker, and I'm just wondering if you get anything from Tucker. I miss him terribly. Mm. Yeah, that happens a lot, you, and you're absolutely correct, and you, know, you trust your intuition. That's correct. There are just certain dogs that, or cats that you just really love them, and it's because you have been with them before. It's... it's um, recognition it really mm -hmm. is yeah, yeah. well uh, you know i have call me i have a past life for you on that you can call me if you'd like oh that's a good idea yeah wow. thank you thank you so much for calling in thank you oh uh, by the way if you want to find out more about darcy go to darcyperiso.com and check it out lots of information darcy's going to get a brand new website soon so that's going to be fun um but we have another caller mr benny right yes we do we'll take uh carol calling in from manchester washington hello carol welcome to the show hey hi carol hi, carol. carol are you okay. there darling all right, let me uh, check back with her. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Um, Darcy, uh, again, people can go to your website. They can schedule time with you. And uh, I don't think they even knew that you would be able to help them with past lives. 
Yeah, they just they just pop in whatever needs to. You know, I started my training with mediumship. Um, I, I well, maybe I should say with Reiki. I started working with energy, and um, I started hearing things and then seeing people and became a medium first. Um, went to Arthur Finley College and did different trainings. And in fact, right now I'm getting certified with James San Prague. And so um, I see past lives and um, people that have crossed over and animals. Animals came in next. Wow. Um, and so, again, when folks go to the website, Betty will tell us if when Carol comes yeah, back. Yeah, I've already, but you can finish up, Pat. Go ahead. Uh, I just want folks to know they can schedule time with you. Um, so just go to DarcyPariso.com. Okay, Mr. Benny. All right, Carol's back. Carol, welcome back. Hi, hey, Carol. welcome back, oh. Carol. Oh, hi. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, thank you for, for doing this for us. Um, uh, oh, hi, Darcy. I have a 16-year-old cat. He's uh, dark gray with white. His name is Rowdy. And uh, he's been doing for quite a while now some excessive grooming to the point where he actually pulls, you know, little bits of his hair out. So I don't know if that has anything to do with his medical uh, problem or what do you pick up, Darcy? Um, Carol, have I talked to Rowdy before? You have, and it was about uh, his medical condition, but I don't know okay. if we, I think we might have talked about the pulling out of hair too. Oh, okay. Because I just I, his name, it just he just clicked. Um, so anyway, he's dark gray and white, and sixteen, and he's grooming. Um, he feels like his um, body is like tingling, like there's all these nerve endings tingling, tingling, tingling through his body, and um, and it's like this anxiety and nervousness, and um, it's it's the energy around. It's like just around him, not. I mean, maybe like in the earth, but also like just around him and your home, like your house, your home. Um, he he has anxiety. Have you seen that with him? Like um, I, when I look at him, I feel like I don't know, uncomfortable. Um, what what was the thing that it might be? You said he feels like he has a lot of anxiety, and it feels like his nerve endings are kind of like tingling. Oh, anxiety. Well, is he maybe picking that up from me or something? I heard to ask yourself that. <laughs> um, I think everybody, I think everybody's got some anxiety these days, but um, it, it's partially that. But it feels like it goes on beyond that. And he also is internalizing some things, um, like he's swallowing. I see that he's taking, um, he's taking things that he's feeling that he's picking up, but he's feeling, and he's like, like trying to swallow them. Um, oh. And like not speaking out, like swallowing them, holding them within. Um, so you could ask yourself if there's things that maybe you need to say or you'd like to say or write a letter, R write it all down. Okay. If there's anything that needs to come up for me, you know, maybe put it on paper and burn it if you need to. Or um, And as far as him, when I asked Rowdy, what can we do to help you? Um, do you heal with your hands? Because he's feeling like healing energy would really help him. Like just yeah, petting I him. Yeah, I, oh, I give okay. him Reiki every day, and uh, I'm, you know, I'm always touching him when I can, when he'll let me. <laughs> yeah, because I feel that that really helps him. I feel that even like putting your hands out. I said, if you're not doing Reiki, then just with your intention, and then petting him too. It feels like that really helps him. He feels like staticky, and like his nerve endings are shh. And so um, I would keep doing it and increase your, um, you know, affirmation and tension, and also. You know, some of the chakra things that I mentioned, if You, when you're doing Reiki, if you can clear a chakras, either spin them or with your intention with the Reiki. Okay. Yeah, I, I just had a thought of maybe some kind of flower essence, some kind of Bach remedy or some kind of rescue remedy. Would that help to, you know, calm him? Yeah, rescue remedy will bring him back into balance and um, Larch helps with um, confidence and anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, well, Aspen is more for anxiety and then it brings calmness and then Larch is more for confidence. So what I do often is I hold the bottle in my hands and say, you know, and I don't look at the name, the, what they are. I just mix them up and say, is this best for Rowdy? You know, one through 10. And I might hear it's an eight. Is this best for him? And that one might be a six and go with whatever you get. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah he doesn't, um, yeah. 
he said he I know he's 16 but he doesn't feel like he's going anywhere now I mean he's got issues but um yeah this feels like oh, an good. aggravation yeah but you know if you want to call okay. for him to go deeper we can do that okay okay uh thanks that that really helps me and helps him <laughs> you're very welcome Carol Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Uh, Darcy, you know, this is we covered a lot today of amazing callers. Right. Um, but one of the things that, you know, we were talking about earlier and I would love to get back to them uh, is that or get back to that was we were talking about, you know, this this animal home toolkit 101 that you put together for people. And I wanted to go back for a minute and talk about um how 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 everyone can work with the chakras and then how that is beneficial to the cats and dogs and you really talked about this a little bit more and i think we just want to remind folks um okay you know the thing about the chakras is to consider what's going on with your animal and then look at each area you know where that might be taking place like if your animal is feeling if he's loving compassionate easygoing and friendly his heart chakra is balanced but if he is um, maybe having heart problems um, physically or that he's just really offish to people not overly emotional or um, not connected to people he's out of balance so you could work with that chakra where with the heart, if you have a dog that's barking, a cat that's vocalizing a lot, waking you up during the night, and um, that third shock is overactive. And so it could be the opposite too, where they're introverted and their emotions um, are, are kind of stuck. They have difficulty communicating or expressing them. So you could balance that chakra because when it's balanced, they express themselves easily and they let their, no sh their emotions be known. So there's a lot of things like that. And a lot of the um, the lower chakras, like the root, if your cat or dog is feeling safe and secure, they're grounded, um, they're balanced. But if they're having you know constipation, it could be the root chakra. Um, they're nervous and you know having fears. They can't handle change well. That's imbalance. And then the stomach, the sacral, or the second chakra, is if it's in balance, um, they're, again, they're expressing emotions appropriately without being intense. And they love to be affectionate and they give it freely. But if they're like stiff in their physical body, maybe they have lower back pain and they have bladder issues and they're just kind of disconnected. Um, mm. And they might be um, needy and have a yeah. separation anxiety. Yeah. And that's an imbalance. Wow. wow. So there are a lot of them. Um, do we have time for any more? No, I, I think we're just about have about a minute left. But you know, I'm 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 I think that you're going to probably post something on the website here in yes. the near future to help people. And what you're talking about, first of all, is for everyone to be mindful of this, really mindful of this. And I think that's the first part. And you know, I know Darcy's going to be providing everyone. Uh, in general with more information. But if people want to work with you directly on this, um, and a lot of times they do, Darcy, you know, it's, they're just, all of us are just so in love with our animal friends that we just want to do it right. And that's where they can work with you. <laughs> yeah. And I do um, also, on my website, I have a special for a first-time client too that they could take advantage of too if they'd like. Mm. Yeah, DarcyPariso.com, right? Yes. Darcy, one last question. What's your personal message? What would you like to leave us with? Um, I would like to say today, in lieu of the, con of the content and the topic, is that um, our animals love us and they do so much for us. And if we could just be mindful, like you said, be present and be there for them and, and take what they give us. They come to us with so much love and spend time with them and send them a message. Yeah, Awesome. Darcy Pariso, everyone, please go to her website, darcypariso.com. I'm Dr. Pat. You know how to get to me, the Dr. Pat Show, or transformationtalkradio.com. And Darcy, again, is there a phone number people can call to schedule their time? Yes, it's 425-280-5132. Uh, awesome. Darcy, you rock. Thank you so much for today. Thank you. Thank you to all the callers.
Yeah. And really, Benny, thank you for pushing all the right buttons. Yay. My Yay. pleasure, Pat. My pleasure, Darcy. Oh, <laughs> what, a, what a great team, everybody. Uh-huh. And you know what? Remember, this is a fabulous day. Enjoy every moment of it and share that joy with someone else. We'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Animal Soul Wisdom Radio, tapping into the wisdom of our animals, angels, and masters with Darcy Pariso. Tune in monthly as Darcy shares stories and insights on how to better understand and deepen our relationships with animals. Working with light and ancient techniques, Darcy is here to guide you through the process and provide inspiration to move forward. For more information or to listen to this show, visit DarcyPariso.com. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.